because the error might not be displayed on the indoor unit or remote control. The optimal way to check for errors is the outdoor unit's LED. Make sure to inspect the circuit breaker, power line, and power supply as basic items for service checks. The single phase product should have a 220 volt plus minus 10% when the LN phase is measured. The three phase product should have a 380 volt plus minus 10% when two phases are measured. Excluding the N phase from the RSTN phases or a 220 volt plus minus 10% voltage when an RST phase is measured with the end phase. If no error is detected in the voltage, check if the outdoor unit's installation space fits the standard condition. If the unit's air current doesn't circulate properly, the unit cannot run normally due to increased load near itself. Check if the high-low pressure service valve of the outdoor unit opens normally. Check if the EEV harness terminal is properly connected to the outdoor unit's main PCB. Reset the unit's main power. Close the low pressure service valve and separate the EEV coil by turning it to the left side while the EEV is fully opened. Then operate the product. Check the connection and for carbonization in the compressor connection harness. To measure phase-to-phase -phase resistance, open the compressor terminal's cover and measure the resistance of terminals. When two of terminal block UVW's phases are measured, a normal reading is if the same resistance value is obtained for phase-to-phase -phase resistance measurement, but the compressor is defective if the values differ. Measure resistance between a UVW phase and the outdoor unit cycle piping to measure insulation resistance. The normal scope of the insulation resistance value is above 10 megohm, as shown in the table. Otherwise, this indicates the potential for compressor defect. The range of the product input current differs by chassis. The table shows the normal range. Check for any carbonization traces in the IPM and the screw and connector joint parts of the inverter PCBA. Measure the voltage terminal and P and N of the inverter PCBA DC link and check if the reading is 310 volt in case of a single phase and 540 volt in case of a three phase connection. Measure the diode of UVW between the P-terminal of the inverter PCB and each phase and UVW between the N-terminal and each phase. Check heatsink using LGMV 